Yeah, I'm not clear. There's a few guys that came off, but that was all planned as far as I, I could see. So I haven't heard anything more from Matt. So um, if that's the case, I think it's all good. Yeah, we should see him play some footy soon. So he, he'd be playing the trial game as far as you're aware? As far as I know, yeah. I haven't been briefed on anything different than that. Yeah, so all the guys that sort of came off was pretty much to plan and were managed. How's training with this? The amount of senior players that are No, it's been pretty good. Like the young guys have taken on themselves, and I think one one thing that's been great, especially for me coming in, is with COVID, they've all been in in in, in groups and training groups. So they're all tra they're all in my in my office at the moment, which is unbelievable that I get to learn and get to know these guys because they're getting changed and getting ready and warmed up in in my office at the moment with the COVID rules. So the young guys have been uh, yeah re really vocal on the track, and it's a pretty even bunch. So they've all got to step up, and they have with their voice so far. Yeah, no, no doubt. The ones that we, we speak about a fair bit have been fantastic. But yes, look, Rory's been great. Even though Tom Duday's been off the track, he's been really um, vocal. Um, Sholey's been fantastic um, through the midfield. Uh, but everyone, everyone's stepped up. Um, I've had Fogg the other day, um, Dust Foggy, take the group and, and speak through some things. Billy Frampton's been speaking up. Um, and yeah, it's all new to me, but that, that's what I'm seeing. I, uh, Elliot Him Himmelberg, it's been talking in the forwards a fair bit, so they're all, they're all taking their turn. Daniel, what questions did you ask of the footy club before you took the job here, assuming you did a bit of due diligence on the club and who was here? Yeah, no, I did. I asked um, yeah, where they were going and their, and their philosophies. Um, had a few good chats with Nixie um, and Adam Kelly, obviously, um, and where they saw the club going. Um, last four years, I was with Geelong was in development and with being a young list, I suppose I, I thought I could help. Um, and they definitely saw my skill set as something that could be added to the Adelaide. So, no, it was some really good conversations. Uh, I love what they were saying and I've loved what I've seen so far. Is that, are they going in the direction you anticipated? And, and what sort of things that didn't you know about the club that have sort of caught your eye and you're surprised or pleased? Or... I'm probably surprised. Not, no, I wouldn't say surprised, but I'm loving how connected the boys are. They're actually a really, really close group. And maybe that's because they're similar age. Um, the young guys are pretty young. The older guys are pretty young at heart as well, which I think helps. But it's a really connected group, and um, I think the advantage of getting a few different people from other clubs, with VB and Scott Burns coming in with some with some diverse ideas, and I think it's only going to keep the club in good stead. And yeah, I, if I had to say something, it's, it's how close the group actually are. Yeah. Was it a tough decision? Yeah, it was. I didn't know a heap of people in Adelaide. I'd, been at Geelong for over 20 years so um, it was a big decision but it's a decision I think I needed to, to make and it's been a great decision to bring my family over and be five minutes from work um, is, is been great. Um, even though I'm here a lot and working really hard I'm spending a lot of time with my family as well in, in a place right near the beach because I'm from the beach Janjuk so I'm loving that and the weather's been a bit better than Victoria so far. Um, I was look. It's probably COVID had a bit to do with it. I think um, it makes you reassess everything. Um, I was probably a little bit too comfortable at Geelong and the role I was going and, w and where I was going. Probably more into management and development. And I'm still just 40 or 41, so I'm I'm keen to keep coaching. So um, and I've definitely found that passion back for it. Um, to, yeah, coming to Adelaide. Um, I, you'd probably have to ask them. I, lo I like to obviously get a strong bond and relationship. That's why I mentioned the boys being able to be in my office has been massive for me. Um, getting to know them. They're a pretty extroverted group, the forwards, which they usually are. Um, I do love the forward group. I do um, uh, love, uh, lo love the attacking and I think we're a pretty youthful side who, and I think Nixie has said a little bit, we're going to take the game on. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that and hopefully and the forwards can connect pretty well and, and kick some goals and, and lock it in there. Sorry. Yeah, right. Didn't get too many high draft picks at the time. And yes. Yeah. Which alone would have been made in Riley's so far. Yeah, no, Riley, um, I think it's all been pretty well publicised. He's, he's a big boy who 
who can work. Um, he's good on on the on the deck. He's got good skills, and obviously he can take it to the highest point. Probably his work ethic is massive. It's something I had a chat to him as, for, as soon as he got here that. He, he, he himself, even though we, we don't want him to be patient, he has to be patient. He's, uh, he works really hard and he wants it now, which is great. Um, but yeah, th there'll, be, there'll be time for Riley. I'm, I'm really keen to see what he can offer. Do you know what your best forward structure looks like? Um, not exactly. I think um, the good thing and the hard thing is how even it is. It is very even group. I think the whole list is pretty even, I think. There's a few guys that probably speak for themselves that'll, that'll get a game, but from a whole group, it's going to be quite difficult. And I wish we had a few more trial games, to be honest, to work it out. Um, but uh, if the guys have put their hand up and deserve their opportunity, um, they'll get it. But will round, round one be the same as round five or at the end of the year? Um, it's hard to know. So can there be room for Filthy, for Himmelberg, Fogarty, for Walker? Uh, is there it, room to play those? Yep. Is there room for There's room for Tex. Um, he's training really well. Um, the, the way, what I've seen and how passionate he is about the group and how, how well he's moving at the moment. Um, yeah, I think he, he's a really good chance to play. The, the big guys, I think it just depends on the balance. Yes, you need to lock the ball in, but part of that is creating contest out of the ball with the big boys, but then the smalls getting in there and engaging and, and keeping the ball in there with their pressure. So there'll be a balance, but if they perform, they're, they're a good chance. And I think we want to have an environment where there's no excuses so the boys can thrive. So I think opportunity, if they, if they do the work, they'll get their opportunities for sure. Um, Riley missed a little bit early. So I think it depends on how quickly he comes through the next few weeks. But him and um, Pedler and Barry all missed a little bit early, so it depends on how quick they come and how they show in the trial games. But I think they'll be given an opportunity and see how they go. James Rowe, who hasn't missed anything, is probably a week or two ahead of ahead of those boys at the moment. Yeah. Just to ask you about Rowe, it feels like there is a spot for him given the thing situation. Yeah. Where Rowe's at? Um, no, he's going really well. I'm I'm happy to talk Rowe up. I think. Whoever's been coaching him and the program he's come through has been fantastic. He's, he's at an AFL level, I'm very confident. So if he can keep himself fit and keep improving and show something in the trial games, I think uh, Roe would be very close to playing for sure. Uh, so internal this week and then we're at Port and then I think we're into Frio and then week off into Geelong. Um, I think most of the guys will be available. Um, I think it'll still be very much a training run, like we will move players around. It won't be, the, the teams won't be completely locked in. So it'll be a sort of a match simulation training, but um, yeah, start a little bit later and we'll do a bit of a warm up beforehand. So it'll feel a bit more game-like, but you know, it's still a training session. So not, not expecting sort of full noise place to go as hard as they can each other? No, I think they'll still be yeah, full noise. They, they know they're up. Uh, there's a lot of spots up for grabs, so we expect them to go. Um, it just we just might mix the teams around and, and, and play around with the structures a little bit. Yeah. There's been a lot of talk about Fog over, over summer as well. How, how have you seen his summer and the potential of him and Tex playing together or not? Yep, I, I've got no problem with Fog or Tex playing together. I don't necessarily see them as similar players as I've heard a lot of people say, but. Uh, yeah, look, the way he's come in with his training and, and PBs with all his running. And I think that's probably what he needed to do with his running. He needs to be able to cover the ground really well. Um, but the other half is, is creating a real contest ahead of the ball. He's a, he's a big bodied boy and I want, to help, I want him to help us win contests ahead of the ball, um, which he's been displaying in training as well. So, um, yeah, I think Fogg's had a really good pre-season uh, and he's definitely in the mix. Yeah, well, Nick's just sort of given me an idea of what he wants um, and obviously we want to be hard to play against so um, with what I've seen um, and the structure that supports that, I'll definitely be pushing what I think can work and, and what, what I think we, or how Nixie wants us to play um, and we'll go from there. But we will have, we've still got some time to have a look at it and I, I yeah, I'm looking forward to that. What does Nixie want? 
<laughs> I just can't quite share that at the moment. But he wants, he wants us, as I said, I think because we're a young team, you want to see that. And, and it is a strength of ours, have that youthful enthusiasm. And I think that's how he wants to play. So, you know, there'll be a blend of experience, but there'll be some youth in there that um, are working really hard.